All right, let's talk about bad batteries. You're taking apart a ton of laptop batteries, 468 pounds to be exactly, because I did weigh these things just the other day. You're gonna run across some bad batteries. And I wanna talk about certain ones that I ran into, and it's just kind of funny that all of these cells that are made in Canada by Molly. Let's see if you can focus in on that. That's the name of the company. And they were pretty much all bad. I think I got one good cell out of this whole batch. The rest of these were all bad. And I had the charger. And one of these batteries actually caused that to fail. So maybe I just had a bad batch of these things, but it's funny that they were all bad. Couldn't do anything with them. Other than throw them in the recycle bucket. I got these out of tool batteries. And that's all I could do with them. And so that... is the start of the ones going back to the recycler. Now, these batteries, I don't know, probably nothing too wrong with them. They're just not the right size for what I need. So, they definitely go in the recycle bucket. Okay. Here we've got a green Molly. That thing was no good either. You run into these sometimes. There's a couple examples. They don't really have a shrink wrap on them like you normally see. They just have kind of a paper holder. And they didn't test out too well. You notice there's a protective ring just bounced right out of the thing. So let's see what this thing is. Come on. Come to Papa. And one volt. That's, that's borderline. That's real borderline there. One volt. And you got a bunch of these other ones that are the same way. A whole bunch of stack of these things. That's not a sign that you're onto a, a set of bad batteries whenever you run into these things. And 0.07. 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 1 volt, 1 volt, it's going to be a little difficult, what do we got, oh, that might help, pull that off of there, 1.2, 1.2 These are maybes, but the rest of these being so bad Not worth the time Sometimes you'll just pick up the wrong battery In this case there's a ton of Dells that have the 18650 cells in them but if you look really close, it says nickel metal hydride battery right there, NIMH battery. And obviously that's not good for what we're trying to do. 
So that has to go back. Not because it could be good, could be bad, but it's just not what we're using. Now, I was not expecting when you get a Dell laptop battery like this, and it looks pretty similar to the 18650s, that you find, but this is kind of a giveaway, this, this thing here. They not all don't all have that. But these Dells, they all have that ridge. And when you try to pop them open, you can see that they have the lithium poly cells, the little pouch cells. And you notice that little pouch cell starting to puff up. Not a good, it's starting to puff up too. It's not a good sign. And these aren't what I really need for the project. So these got to go back. And that cell there, look at that cell. It came out of a pack that said it was lithium ion, but obviously this is not in 18650, 18 millimeters that away. And but it is 650 as far as the length goes. So Kind of odd, but they were all bad. They all had this kind of crud on that one end. They all looked about the same. These were bad, and they also, when they have that foam, that foam does not want to come out of there. You can dig at it all you want. Some things just aren't worth the hassle. You see it's starting to go a little rusty there. So that wasn't worthwhile. Here's another one. You can kind of tell by the weight of this thing. Let's see if we can get a, a weight on this. Well, let's change it to pounds. Okay. One pound, four ounces. And this little pack. Well, that's kind of a tip-off right there. These aren't lithium ions. Lithium ions like this would weigh a little over half a pound. So, and this weighs over a pound. So, and then if you look at it, you can see nickel metal hydride right there. So, again, just doesn't have the right cells that we need. These are a couple of battery packs. You could just tell they were bad from the word go. They're all rusty. You know, if they were normal, nice looking cells, they'd be worth salvaging. But you can tell by the condition these things are in, these things aren't going to be any good. So don't waste your time. Now, see, here's another example. This looks like, you know, a standard lithium-ion 18650 pack, but once you break it open, those are nickel metal hydride batteries right there in a cardboard wrap. So, they're not lithium ions. And right there, nickel metal hydride. I don't know how good your eyesight is. Mine sometimes isn't good enough. If they look like they're going to be lithium ions, I go ahead and buy them. And Again, we'll talk about the price. The price that I'm paying right now is 50 cents a battery for these things. I don't pay over 50 cents because I run into stuff like this. Here's another example of poofy pouch cells. You get a lot of these that are square and they'll have 18650s in them. And then once you break them open, you think, oh, that was not a good one. A wise buy. I guess I'm just telling you I'm not a good shopper when it comes to this stuff. This is one I just had a couple of bad cells in. Let's see if we can see what these are. Yeah, 0 0.03, 0 0.02. Not worth your time to try to get that out of there and do anything with it. Here's another example. If you take a tool battery apart, 
and it looks like that just don't waste your time with it it's it's going to be frustrating the other thing that was wrong with this is this heat sink right here was glued in so heavily you just couldn't pry that thing out of there so they were kind of stuck together i think these had some voltage to them let's check it out but it was just too problematic to get at see if you can see not there not there there 3.55 that's a good cell 3.52 good cell 3.54 so these three cells right here are really good but again if you can't get them out of the battery holder and I, this is the only one I've seen like this this is a DeWalt tool battery an early style of DeWalt tool battery so some of those uh, you get them and I didn't pay anything for it but it was worth what I paid for it into the bucket it goes came across some Dells and they had a combination of 18650s and the pouch cells they had these little pouch cells in a little thing along with the outside of the battery pack which um, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with these batteries. They're just not good for what I'm looking for. Sometimes, when you run into these cells, the skins will peel right off. And I'm going to have a video about how to rewrap these things once that happens. Once that happens, they're a little dangerous. As long as they have that ring over the top, you're not in too bad a shape. Um but you really need to have that ring absolutely have that ring and then wrap it so that this part is covered even if you wrap that in electrical tape but let's see if i have it yes i do since these are going back to the recycler just to be safe better safe than sorry Best thing to do, take a piece of duct tape, wrap it around it, wrap it over it, get that whole top end insulated, and throw it in the bucket. Okay. And I didn't bother pulling those wings off of there. Whenever you work with these things, you should wear gloves because all these little ends on these batteries are just razor sharp cut the heck out of you okay so this one was bad it had a discharge itself it had a bad internal resistance there's a lot of videos talk about internal resistance getting a meter to measure the internal resistance well it's going to tell you whether it's good or bad as far as internal resistance what Yahoo says about setting the cell aside for a couple of weeks very good advice because if they have internal resistance they are going to discharge themselves let's see what the voltage is down to on this one and drop to 3.9 I have a lot of uh, these they drop to 3.9 and they stay there some of these won't charge up above 3.9 kind of odd and then you have the ones you dread this only had 1.25 amp hours and it got warm and it's not worthwhile if it's going to get warm on you it's not good not a good idea keep those around these are downright dangerous these things when you charge them up they get hot and when I mean hot I mean hot you can't hold this thing in your hand anything it gets super hot it gets kind of scary hot so definitely not worth having these things around and then you've got the ones that will charge up the minute you put them in a discharger they just head for the basement they go right from 4.17, this dropped to 2.5 immediately. A 
this one charged up to 4.2 volts and within five minutes it dropped to three volts so there's nothing left to this one this one whatever capacity it had this one's long gone let's see anything let's talk about capacities for a second with Samsung they're pretty good because they will tell you what their capacity is in other words that says 15 M that actually means 1.5 amp hours but 1.5 amp hours is not great you wouldn't want to use a 1.5 amp hour you can use it in your uh, bicycle but if you're trying to get between 2 to 3 amp hours and you're starting off at 1.5 odds are since this is used you're not going to have much okay let's look at a Samsung 2.8 amp hour battery put it on the scale 47 grams 46 47 grams compare that to the no-name Chinese cell that has 38 grams this doesn't have anywhere near the same material it cannot have anywhere near the same capacity try to avoid these cheap no-name Chinese cells much usable okay I want to show you something strange and interesting that I ran into this is a normal 18650 cell that's the positive that's the negative touch the positive to the positive and you read 4.11 volts when you do that when you take this cell and this is the positive you can tell because it's got that ring on it you touch that to the positive that to the negative you notice a couple of things number one it's a minus sign in front of it and that cell just keeps dropping if I reverse these put the negative lead on the positive terminal and the positive lead on the negative terminal then you see that the results are positive but again the battery just keeps falling just from the resistance of this voltmeter going through it that's how bad this cell is but I find it very interesting that the polarity has been reversed on this cell it's the only cell I've seen like this that did this but uh, I just thought it was very interesting on these all the bad cells that I've tested this one was really strange and that was from a Samsung 24e normally a pretty good cell but in this case I'm to wrap it in duct tape and throw it into the recycle bin